Hi, welcome to my next video. This time again I want to show you the next piece in the Tokyo at Night series. It's the fifth one. As always the first step in making an illustration in this series is making a really rough pencil sketch. I'm using here the Mitsubishi High Uni F grade pencil because I want a sharp nice line but not too soft, not too visible so it's easier to erase later. I'm doing the sketch here mostly to figure out the perspective because it's kind of difficult in this piece and so I'm trying not to put too many details. I will add them later with the Copic Multiliner. Again, I'm painting this based on one of my photos I took on one of my walks in the Kagurazaka district. We lived with Kana nearby, so we went there often. And whenever I saw something interesting at night, I took a photo with my iPhone. This small alleyway, really dark with some stairs, so it's kind of at an angle, piqued my interest at once. So I wanted to see if I can find something interesting in there. It was too dark, but the view of the building in front of it from the alleyway was really interesting so I wanted to feature it in this series. I wanted to paint not only complicated views of the city with a lot of buildings but also something more iconic and weird and a little bit disturbing. So it's like how would you feel walking alone in this kind of dark narrow alleyway. Even though you are pretty safe while walking in Tokyo even at night for me, the streets that have a lot of light, a lot of buildings, a lot of things, but not so many people can give this kind of eerie feeling and I would like to show it in this illustration series also. Okay, so the line drawn with the Copic Multiliner is done. I like the look of it on the cold pressed paper, the roughness of it. The next step was erasing the sketch and getting ready for the watercolor painting. I'm using here my standard Schmincke 48 color set with a little bit of additional paints also from other makers. If you are curious about what paints exactly do I use, you can see the list on my website. The painting process was kind of long, so I chose the best elements for the time lapse. I leave you here and let's meet at the end. Okay, so the watercolor painting part is nearly done. With this illustration series, I'm allowing myself to use a little bit of white opaque paint, because some of the details are really hard to paint only with watercolors. For this, I'm using mostly the Dr. PH Martin's Bleedproof White Paint or White Poster Color from Nicker. 
You have seen me using the white paint mixed with watercolors because I wanted to make it darker a bit when I was painting the wire mesh of the fence on the right side of the picture, but also I want to add a halo and some white reflections where the streetlight is. Okay, so this is how the finished illustration turned out like. You can see all the pieces in this series on my blog, website or on my Behance account. I'm working on this series of illustrations in between making and coloring the pages of the Yuragi comic, but I cannot show you a video of them because I'm really at the end of the story, only 5 pages left so it would be a nice big spoiler for you. I'm really excited about getting the comic the digital version ready so you can buy it and read it. Ok so that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. I would like to thank all of you who do support me there because your support allows me to do this kind of comics and illustration series that are not commissions. Thank you very much. Ok that's it, I will see you in the next video, bye.